Hello everyone, I'm Deb Courtney and welcome. Well, we're continuing on with videos that have to do with personal foundations, self-care. Today's video has to do with extending boundaries and what that can look like and entail. These are steps that I have taken in my life, all through and during my life and still are taking because I am evolving and my boundaries are evolving. So let's begin. What I have written in my notes is this. Boundaries are imaginary lines we establish around ourselves to protect our souls, our hearts, and minds from the unhealthy and damaging behavior of others. It is recommended that you extend your boundaries at least two to three times beyond where they are currently. And you say, well, why is that? Because sometimes we have to, we have to give grace to people and mercy. I know I've had to do that. And so I've had to extend my boundary out because I've had to, I've had significant instances of grace and mercy in my life where some person needed that simply because they did not know what they were doing. And that happens in life. Okay, so when a person has healthy boundaries, here we go, number one, fear diminishes significantly. Trust is rarely an issue. Willing, healthy family members and true friends respect the person. The person starts growing more emotionally and developmentally when we have healthy boundaries. So what happens when a person's boundaries are weak? Well, here we go. Number one, the person attracts needy, disrespectful people into his or her life. Are you like that? Or do you know someone like that? I've been there. The person wastes energy keeping life going. So let me give you 10 steps to having extensive boundaries. And these are not all there are. These are just what I have used in my life that helped me. The first one, understanding your needs to dramatically extend your boundaries. Understand that you need to dramatically extend your boundaries. A lot of people have no boundaries. They just let any and everybody, anything and ever, everybody take over them. That is not healthy. That is not healthy in self-care and your personal foundation of who you are, who you were created to be. The next one, be willing to educate others how to respect your new boundaries. Uh, let me give you a little tidbit here. They won't like it. <laughs> They won't like it. They will not like it. So be prepared. Now, some, some people won't have a problem with it. But you will have some people that when you tell them what your boundaries are and you're educating them to what your boundaries are, let me, uh, they won't like it. They may get mad at you. So, you know, you've made a choice. Like I said before, you get to make our, we get to make our choices, but we don't get to choose our consequences. So if you are willing to have a person to walk away because you have set a boundary, that's what you're looking at. Okay. So be willing to, so, uh, be willing to, you know, accept that if that should take place because you are educating people on what you will and will not tolerate any longer. Okay. Um, be relentless yet not punitive as you extend your boundaries. Now there's a right way and a wrong way to do anything. Okay. And there is a right way and a wrong way to express to educate others, to tell people about your boundaries. So think about the boundary 
and then think about how you are going to express that to another individual. You don't, you don't have to be ugly about it. You don't have to cuss somebody out about it or get cussed out because you have set a boundary. Now, some people will do that to you. Some people will act real ugly towards you. So you have to be ready for that also. I have had that happen. But it just is what it is what it is when you set a boundary. Uh, the next one is make a list of five to ten things that people may no longer do around you, do to you, or say to you. You can... Out of some people, I'm not saying out of everybody, but out of some people, you can or you need to expect rejection from them because you have set boundaries that you're no longer going to tolerate certain things or you're no longer going to do certain things. So you have to be, you have to be comfortable with that should that take place. Some people you might think, well, I don't, you know, don't, that person would not, I would not have a problem with them if they never talked to me again. I know. I've been there, done that. I know what you're talking about. I know what you're thinking. Okay. Now, the next one is sit down with each person involved and share with them your process. Get an agreement to honor you. And a lot of times, how you approach an individual you might, you might start, you might say, uh, you know, um, I, I need to talk to you about something. Uh, let's sit down. They say, yeah, sure. What's going on? Sometimes you may have to approach them kind of, you know, soft and smooth like that to, to kind of get them warmed up. You know the individual who you're going to have to deal with better than I do. And I know the individual how I've got to deal with them better than you do. So, your approach has a lot to do with sharing with the individual what your boundaries are and get an agreement with them. And you ask them for it. You ask them, I need for you to honor this boundary. Ask for, their, for them honoring this boundary. I need for you not to go there with me anymore. Okay? Nothing wrong with that. Because this is about your self-care. This is about your self-preservation. This is about your personal foundation and how you can live as an individual. And you even share with them. They need to set their own boundaries themselves. If they're letting someone influence them that and they're influencing you, you know, it, it does get it does get very involved sometimes. Require Require that every single person in your life is always unconditionally constructive in every single comment to you. No more digs, makes funds, depreciating remarks, criticism, cynicism, no matter who or what or the solution. Have The next one, have and use a four-step plan of action or a three-step plan. If a three-step plan works for you, fine. A, a three- or four-step plan of action, whenever someone violates your boundaries, inform them what they are doing, implore that they stop it immediately, require that they stop, walk away without any snappy or get even comments. The next one, make a list of five to ten ways you are vi you are violating others' boundaries. Ew, yeah. <laughs> I've done that. And I've sat down and done that. And sometimes we are our own self. We're 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 we're, you know, notorious for telling everybody else how we're gonna live and what we will accept and what we won't accept. But sometimes we need to sit down and, and, and see if we're doing something to someone else that is not conducive to the way their personal foundations are, their self-care are. So we have to be mindful of that. Stop violating the boundaries on that list. The list, 
that the previous list where you're violating others' boundaries. And if you don't know if you're violating their boundary, what do you do? You ask them, does this, does this work for you or does it not work for you? Am I, is, is this a boundary that you don't want to go? Uh, well, how far are you willing to go in something like this? Have the conversation, ask the questions, communicate. A lot of times it's just basically communicating. And sometimes once, if you get it, if you communicate it in the beginning in regards to a relationship and people know where you're staying and where you don't stand on a, on a, a individual topic, that saves a lot of heartache in the future. And the next one is re reward and congratulate those who are respecting your boundaries. You know how to do that. I know how to do that. So glad you found me. Glad I found you. Hope that when you extend your boundaries, that you set yourself up with a good, positive self-care, a positive, deeply rooted foundation that will take you into the years ahead of you where you live an awesome life that you were designed and created to, to live. Just remember that. So I'll see you again next week.